Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the mobile editor um, and fix any overlapping elements as well as just change this picture. You already probably know how to do this, but we'll go through it one more time. So we're in the editor here. I'm on your new page marketing coaching and I just want to click on this strip and then click on change strip background to add the new picture. Um, I went ahead and already worked on your picture to give it um, that effect, that kind of uh, duotone coloring. So we're going to upload that picture here. Hit done. And then I always like to rename these with something like what you're looking for, marketing, coaching, brand, mentoring. How about that? Um, or maybe marketing coach, because that's, I think, what the words that you're looking for on this page. Then I'm going to check it on and then click here on change background. It's going to drop it in here um, onto the page. And this is a good picture because it is wide. Um, it is going to move and adjust depending on, you know, the width of the screen. Um, so just be wary that uh, that will happen. But this one's perfect for this because it is kind of a background-esque. It doesn't matter if anything really gets cut off. So, um, and then when you're done with that, um, you're, you're good. You can also adjust the settings here if you wanted to change the look and feel of it. These uh, scroll effects are neat, but they do crop in more on the picture. So they're not always good to use. So you'll see this one here. Let's go on preview. This is called the parallax effect, which means that it kind of moves subtly at a slower pace than the rest of the page, um, which is a nice effect, but you'll see how it kind of crops in more on that picture. Make sure to hit preview to see how it actually looks because it, uh, the preview isn't as, or the editor version doesn't look quite as good usually. Um, you can also click here on settings and do reveal, or you can do zoom in, all these other things. And um, you just hit preview to kind of see how it works. This one's kind of like it doesn't move, it just stays static, and then, then the rest of the page moves. Um, so I will leave it as, I think actually the parallax effect was kind of nice, so we'll leave it at that. But feel free to change it if you'd like. Then um, here's your, your box and everything. Let's kind of bump this up and center it too because it's a little off center it looks to me. Um, you can also adjust the size of the, the text box if it helps a little bit to like, you know, get rid of widows and things. Um, and then you can make this box a little smaller, just little things to kind of keep it on track. Now the next step is the mobile view. And the mobile view, whenever you create a new page, you really have to work on kind of reformatting the mobile view because a lot of times, as you'll see here, it's not laid out the way you would expect it to be laid out. Um, the, the text here is up high, it's overlapping the image, the, uh, the menu and everything. So uh, let's go through and fix this. So the first thing I've noticed is that most of your content, the header content, is way down here below. So I'm going to scroll down here. These little arrows are really nice to use. They don't always work perfectly depending on what it thinks is a grouping. But um, I can click here on move up and that's going to move that up above that other content, which is good because this is where this should be. Now it's also still overlapping that that header. And so we want to drag this down so it's not over, um, not blocking this header. And the header, uh, let's look at this because I am not seeing your logo, which I'm not sure why that is. I might fix this separately. I have to figure out why that, that logo isn't showing up. This might be having to do with the coding too. Um, but anyway, let's kind of go through. Normally your little logo would be here and it wouldn't be an issue, but let's, um, let's go down here. We're gonna kind of adjust the rest of these things. I love this little tool here, this little downward arrow that kind of moves this down um, and it moves everything down in sync. So whenever you see that arrow, just use it because it does seem to help. Um, you can also do things like center text here. You can make it smaller or bigger if you want. Um, you can resize the boxes. It's the exact same content as your desktop, but you do have a little control over how it appears in this mode. You can also hide it if you want to simplify the mobile view. You can hide certain elements by clicking on this little hide icon that shows up when you have things selected. Um, and then let's look kind of at the rest of the page, make sure it's looking good. So yeah, this looks good. It looks like you might have had a space here um, for a picture. So we'll we'll kind of look at that page and see. Maybe that's what this is. Let's go back to the desktop. I do this a lot where I'm like, wait a minute, what was there? Aha, so it's your picture is here. So 
um, what we want to do is actually move that picture into that space because for some reason it got disconnected. Um, and this is common. It's not unusual. Um, you kind of drag and then just kind of scroll up to get things up. You can also kind of figure out where this is roughly and put in coordinates with your toolbar, which right now is hidden, but let's turn that back on um, because this is kind of handy because this you can actually adjust the X and Y coordinates. So if you know roughly where you want it to be on the page, you can actually just type in things versus that kind of drag and scroll that I was doing. Let's center this because I think it looks a little bit better centered on mobile. And we'll scroll down and let's put that there. Let's make sure, where is that download the free branding guide um, on the real one? It's yes, it's at the bottom. And then we also have the meet the experts. Let's see where that's appearing or if it's appearing. Um, yes, that's down here and that looks good. So now we're all good. Um, this is kind of, now we have this, this looking a lot more like what we want it to look like. Um, but feel free to adjust it as you as desired. There's no um, right or wrong way, but just make the, sure things aren't overlapping. So that's what I'm doing here is kind of taking out that overlapping text over the B or under the B. Um, and there we go. Another thing you can do here is like make this a little bit smaller so that maybe you can get rid of that widow on uh, on mobile. I think that looks a little bit better. You could center this text if you think that looks better too. Um, but it's totally up to you. Now let's hit publish so that it saves these changes and let's view the site and see how it actually looks. And let's go to that new page, marketing coaching. Oh, it is coaching. Okay, yes, this looks great. So um, now we can't actually view this on mobile because it doesn't actually show you what the mobile looks like here, but you can look at it on your phone to make sure it looks good there. Um, let's go up here to preview and we'll see what it looks like here. And yes, it looks good. Um, you can also check it on your phone. Actually, I don't like how this is. I'm going to pull this picture down a little bit more. Sometimes these anchors get in the way. You can move them and then move them back, but it doesn't really matter. This is just to kind of tie it to the here. So these aren't critical on where they live, but keep them roughly in this area so that if somebody clicks on something, the anchor is basically we'll scroll them down to this part of the page and that can be accessed through links or buttons, things like that. Um, you don't really have to worry about that, but if you want to move something and it's in the way, you can of course move these around a little bit to grab things at will. And then I'm going to pull this back up. And let's do this again. I, I must have changed this a little bit and I didn't really actually want it that way. So here I am, I'm kind of moving that up, just adjusting everything. Um, you can also use these centering and other align tools to align stuff to make sure everything looks like it's lined up. Um, but that's about it. So I'm going to hit publish again. And there we I also wanted to quickly show you what was going on in this top part. This shouldn't have happened. I'm not sure it might have happened when um, the editing was happening. This shouldn't really affect you later on. <laughs> but to fix it, what's going on is there's there's uh, two columns here. The logo is actually way up here. It's hidden and that's what's going on. So to fix this, I got to move this strip up a little bit so I can actually grab this background header. When I click on this, now this is selecting the actual background, which allows me to make it bigger. And now I can pull this down here. Um, what we're going to do is shrink down this because I think this looks kind of good in red. And then let's pull this back up the way it's supposed to be. Um, so here we go. Here's our logo back. We have the phone number back, so that's great. Um, and that's now fixed. And again, we've already done all those other, other overlapping things, but just double check um, down here. It, make sure everything else is looking good. This should not really change from page to page. This should be the same on every single page. So now that it's fixed, it should be fixed on every other page. Um, if you do need to make any adjustments to it later, um, you know, this is kind of basically how you work with it. But if you ever have questions, of course, call me and I'm happy to, or email me and I'm happy to help you fix this if it gets whacked out again. But it should be fine going forward. I'm not sure how that happened. But sometimes things happen if you're editing the mobile, you might accidentally grab something. Or maybe if you hit the reset, this little page layout optimizer, sometimes that can change things automatically. Don't use this. Um, I would recommend not using this and just kind of using these tools here to navigate things around. And again, 
Don't forget that these little arrows are here too to kind of move things up and down around each other because um, sometimes things get out of order and um, these usually work for the most part if the right things are grouped together. Um, if they don't, you can always manually move things around. And again, to make room to put something above this, you just use this little downward arrow with a line under it tool. And don't forget too, you have your undos and redos here. And hit publish when you're done so everything looks good. And then make sure to view this on an actual phone, make sure it looks good. Um, and uh, that's it. So I just wanted to quickly show you what happened there with your header as well in mobile view. And now it is now fixed.